Hey Virgo, welcome back to the channel. Kelly from House of Virgo. If you're new, please smash that like button and do subscribe. Personal reading link is in the description box below. I do have a special that I'm running until the end of October. So 25 discount on 25% discount on the readings. Go check those out. All right. So let's get into this and see. Yesterday's reading, um, I did receive a lot of comments. Well, I should say more like emails and messages about how that reading for the week ahead was kind of triggering. So I did put that uh, private to members only. Um, and it, you can even view it if you have the $2.99 membership. Okay. Um, I felt like after hearing from everybody, it was better to just kind of let it not be out in the public in case anybody wanted to comment all right so let's take a look we're going to do a celtic cross and see what the messages are for you going forward here for yeah now into november okay all right virgo so bottom of the deck you have like a juggling energy this is kind of like should i or shouldn't i Okay, so I feel like the, the overall message here is weighing some options. I feel like you have something or will have something that's playing on your mind or in your heart. Um, whether or not you want to do something or not or trying to figure out what is the best choice. There's a decision. Okay, um, this can be about multitasking. Yeah, so look... Um, a lot of pentacle energy so this could have something to do in this month like the next 30 days so we're looking at like from today the 21st through november 21st look at this another two yeah you have something on your mind virgo in this time period about there's a choice and a decision whether or not you should either with another uh something involved a situation involving um an earth sign or something to do with yourself okay is something over? Is it not over? Should you sur surrender to something? I feel like this has something to do with your decision. Two tens, yeah. Something, should you end something? Should you be done? Start over? This could have something to do with a relationship or a connection with someone here. Oh yeah, it's this is more, there's a, a breakup energy, a decision perhaps about a breakup, maybe feeling a bit insecure about breaking up with someone or ending something with someone or confronting someone about maybe a third party situation so this feels like the overall messages here okay let's take a look your past position though virgo pretty stable i feel like in the past maybe uh you're in a position of i don't know i just feel like you were in the past kind of following the rules just doing what was expected of you in the past doing the things you needed to do maybe you were like someday you're going to be married or you will be married again um pretty in line with general it feels like maybe a connection with a taurus but pretty in line with a commitment at some point in the past let me just get a clarifying card for that okay but it ended. It looks like it ended. Some kind of connection you had with someone ended. All right. So your current energy, though, here, Virgo, is... Wow. You got the Queen of Swords. So this is about, I feel like, being honest with yourself, being truthful, gaining clarity in regards to a situation right now, today, presently. Being totally honest with yourself. Let's see. This so this really feels like you ending a relationship or just convincing yourself in your mind about about a, a relationship being over. Let me just get a clarifying card for this. Yeah, get the six of wands. Virgo, it feels like currently there is maybe you're trying to convince yourself in your mind you know how like if a relationship physically ends or someone ends like two people break up usually the the head <laughs> or the heart like the 
the realization of it kind of hits later, I'm hearing. I mean, that's not always the case, but if something ended in the past with someone that you were in a committed relationship or even marriage, the energy of today is like, convincing yourself that it's really done or just being totally honest with yourself whether somebody ended it with you or you ended it with them you know whatever uh, just like so much of a struggle I feel like you're or you might still be in it and it's like oh, gotta end this right so it's just a lot of truth and honesty I kind of feel like your head's a little foggy though currently you know there's a lot of this option energy like I, I don't feel like it's having commitment issues or looking at other physical options it feels more like making a decision I, i'm here okay they're saying coming out of some kind of cognitive belief system or some kind of dissonance where it, it's all the same energy it's like okay the realization hitting currently that something is completely done so i feel like you, either you're going to be feeling that or you're just trying to push yourself into getting into that mindset okay i feel like what's driving you you do have a lot that you're learning at this time you might be doing a lot of studying or researching or trying to maybe understand a relationship that you were in don't dwell too much on it you know if you need to get some clarity that way go for it but i feel like your intention here virgo is to come out on top of whatever may was too may have been too much of a struggle or something that ended in the past either with a taurus could be another virgo or capricorn or just somebody you know whomever your person's sign is yeah so your head's a little cloudy i feel like your thoughts are a little cloudy might be kind of jumping back and forth and like okay maybe maybe it's me no it's them or maybe i did something wrong oh no they did something wrong it's a little bit of like phew, i i can't what are they saying like a confusion it just feels like a bit of confusion trying to get clarity you might be maybe blaming yourself a little bit or or maybe not you might not be but just trying to there's just some type of confusion so i do feel like with this three of pentacles you're you're definitely trying to get clarity on what happened or why something ended or why you don't feel the same way anymore or why they don't Or why there wasn't, why there was a lack of full on commitment, right? Because the Three of Pentacles can be the commitment card, 100%. It's like teamwork, you know? And then the Seven of Cups is like commitment issues and being in a fantasy. So you're grappling. There's a little bit of a war, it seems like, going on within you. It's not huge, you know? There's no major arcanas here, so it's not huge. It's just coming to this stage or the, this like understanding in yourself you know i know some people like i don't want to know about it what's done is done move on but virgos are really virgos like to learn they like to understand generally not all um but most of the most of the i feel like i feel like most of the feminines really do because virgo i feel like the fems are all about improving themselves understanding what happened trying to reconcile things you know um a majority of my listeners are the feminines so i'm speaking to you so here you go you've got the five of swords coming up for you so this is a complete cutoff here all right let me think here uh, some of you come to terms with you are in some kind of an abusive relationship to what degree not 100 percent sure it feels more like verbal abuse um in other words nasty words that some kind of toxic verbal communication between two people and for one it's very assertive wording or communication and for another it's lack of communication which can be um you know someone shutting down and shutting somebody out and not refuse so silent treatment you know these are very intentional things so either someone is giving 
absolute silent treatment, which is, can be a form of abuse, or they are shooting toxic words at another person. So it's aggressive or it's indirect or it's passive. Okay, why is this here? Is this kind of like an, you come to this understanding that this person that you were with, um, or that something ended with here was too much of a struggle that this may have been, I feel like this must be the theme because I didn't even, I didn't even pull the um, Oracle cards and it feels like this must be the theme going on. Somebody here needing to hear these messages. Hmm. I feel like you do come to terms with whatever you were dealing with here. You come to understand. The Three of Pentacles is, for me, an energy of putting in the effort and really trying hard. And the Seven of Cups is an energy of not trying hard and being kind of all up in fantasy land, you know, not, not really being involved. Um, spreading someone spreading themselves thin so yeah coming up in kind of like they're saying somewhere like the first or second maybe the first first week of november i feel like you come to terms pretty fast you understand pretty quickly what this relationship the issue was the communication or lack thereof that's the start of it uh, the big biggest part of it it feels like i do see you here in the queen of swords as being someone who is a very good communicator but you could be harsh at times sure or uh, let me just say maybe overly blunt or direct All right, so they're giving me the lovers and the magician here. Virgo, I feel like your intentions with someone, you were trying to manifest a beautiful partnership and probably doing the best you could with what you understood or knew how to do that. And I feel like another person was too, but there was something here about the communication was an issue. So you're right, here you are right now where you have the five of wands, so this is conflict. Virgo, this relationship I feel like that you were in was strife with conflict. Seriously, competition, power, um, uncertainty. And I feel like your advice is to pay attention to that. You know, that's not, not really healthy here. As you may, I don't want to say you may. It feels like it was a battle, like a battle battleground. I feel like this is something you need to understand about a particular relationship here. The other person, they have the Page of Pentacles. I feel like this person, whoever your person was, they talked a lot about maybe things they wanted to do or things they were going to do, or they make, they make communication about, you know, these ideas that they may have had for the relationship or say things like, yeah, I want to invest. Yeah, I want to commit. Yeah, I want to be together. Yes, I want this. Yes, yes, yes. And here's, here's the proof, but understand the page is a communication in my, when I do my readings. And I feel like this person did a whole lot of talking about their ideas and they still do. And I feel like that this is kind of how they are, but this isn't, Paige is very immature energy. It's, it's an inability to put those words into action. Um, maybe put, I feel like gave you, maybe there's like a, somebody who gives a lot of hope or they say they're going to do this or they put in the action, but it doesn't, it, it can't be long-term because it's a page. It's kind of like, it's kind of like asking a, like a five-year-old to, do college math and to do it for an entire year like it's just not going to happen unless it's a unique circumstance but it's just it's it's expecting something from someone that is not capable of fulfilling that 100 percent. and i kind of feel like that's what this person 
That's what they do because they want that. They want those things. They desire to have those things with you, but they can't really like the best they can do is talk about it, can kick the can forward, maybe keep moving the goalpost, then disappointing. It, it, I don't want to go into a deep psychological thing with this person. I feel like we, we do go into those a lot, but I, f I feel like their energy uh, between the two of you is um, causes a lot of conflict. So, you know, apart from all that, let's just focus on something great here because in your hopes and fears and your future, I mean, uh, things are going to turn around for you. And I want to I bring that to the table here for you. Okay, you do have the two of cups. You will make a spark there. And this is in your hope. And I feel like you do want to find someone who's on the same page as you, where you both are mutually exclusive, where there's, did I say that right? There's an understanding here. Two people understanding one another. This is almost like, you're going to definitely connect with someone new by the end of maybe like the third, the second week of November. There's going to be a new beginning in love here as the outcome. And it's going to be really, really special, like a blessing, like a gift that you both get that you sh can share together. You see how these cups are very similar? It's like a gift coming to you, each of you you and this person so maybe there's just this understanding that you're having about a past relationship or maybe past relationships <clears throat> in the case of this five of wands where it sits in your advice i feel like um try to focus more on less competitive communication or fighting Let me just get one more card for that. Yeah. So make your communication, Virgo. I feel like, I don't know who needs to hear it, but there's somebody here need to be more friendly in their communication, right? Not competitive in their communication. What do I mean by that? Like, say what you mean and mean what you say, um, but there's no need to ruffle any feathers with anyone speak your truth and show a sense of certainty and belief in what you say and what you do in your communication going forward okay uh, try they're saying try not to create any obstacles if you do not have anyone that no matter how you you know if you speak really if you speak kindly to someone and you get your it's more like speak be assertive and firm but not aggressive and if you have i feel like you'll draw what's the old saying you'll get further with honey than vinegar is that the saying <laughs> sweeten up your communication but not like in an ass kissing people pleasing way is what i'm trying to say that's i'm not trying to say it's the message i'm getting um and I feel like, I don't want you to feel like I'm calling you out Virgo, because I'm not. There's so many Virgos who are very kind and sweet. But I, somebody here uh, can get very, front. Virgos are Mercury ruled, and Mercury is a messenger god, and it's all about communication. And Virgos are very good with that, you know? Just even if they're not talking about feelings, they're, they're open to communication, okay? Or some type of communication, whether it's in the wor word form or physical communication, whichever. I just feel like I need to tell you that when you make this connection, I really don't feel like you're going to have to worry about this <laughs> energy because I feel like you and this, who is this person? Oh, you have the King of Pentacles. Hmm. Let's see. Yeah, the communication is going to be a breeze. So either you're going to make a connection with uh, another Earth sign, which there'll be an understanding there, mostly Virgo could be a Taurus or a Capricorn, but you have two aces here. Yeah, things are going to move very beautifully with this new person, connecting with this new person here.
there's going to be action and change. Listen, if there's one thing I can tell you with this tower, there isn't going to be an opportunity for anyone to... Let me just put it this way. It's going to be a very humbling experience. A very humbling relationship. Not that it's going to be one person's going to be like a dictator and therefore you're humbled. Not like that. But there's vulnerability here with this new person. Let me just see how you're going to meet them. I just need to ask. All right, some of you are going to meet this person through Oh, okay, they're giving me the word internationally. Interna it's an international connection. So some type of international Yeah. Um you and this person are, you're going to be far away from each other and then come together. So there, you both won't be, you don't live in the same place. I feel when I look at the three of wands, this is like a distance. I feel like you and this person will be, well, I have to travel to each other. That explains to me why the chariot was there. There's some kind of distance, but listen, this is going to be your person. Okay, we have the King of Swords also and the King of Cups. So it could be an air sign. It could also be an earth sign or a water sign. But there is, I mean, now some of you, okay, I was going to ask if this is some kind of a reunion, but I don't feel like it is. This is a new beginning, a brand new start. I would just kind of keep your ears and eyes peeled as far as meeting someone. There's a there's distance and travel between you and one of these people, for sure. So, you it could be connected if you travel for work, or if you are. I don't know. I feel like I'm not sure. International it could be like an airport. You might meet them in an airport. They just keep giving me the word international. And we do have travel, so. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> now, if you don't travel, Virgo, <laughs> let me just say. Maybe you're dropping someone off at an airport. Who knows? And you connect with them there, right? Who knows? Or they travel and they, they somehow show up in your life. And I know there's very few of you out there that, that don't that don't travel but i want to make sure that i'm speaking to everybody here what else do you have okay yeah so there's definitely an energy of giving up on a heartbreak situation a breakup okay and i feel like that's whomever uh, you're coming to terms with a past situation a past relationship where there's a breakup okay that confirms that let me get a little confirmation for this new situation. All right, there you go. So you have hammer. So this is rebuilding, repairing. The heck are they building there? Looks like some kind of a ring. Repairing a broken ring. So Maybe that's literal or just figuratively, but you're rebuilding, Virgo. I see this. Rebuilding your life. Oh my gosh. Abundance. Positive mindset. Gratitude, bliss, and blessings. Look at that money. Look at all that money. Where's the hundreds? Dollar dollar bills, y'all. Where's the hundreds? <laughs> so... I don't know. I feel like things improve for you once you come to terms with a past thing. Understanding a past relationship that's just needed to end. Okay. Clarity and truth. A revelation. And determination to rebuild your life. And in the process, connecting with someone. Meeting someone. There you go. Cupid's arrows. 
Have faith, Virgo. Love is coming. You make it a surprise invitation. You're just struck by love. So some of you, I do feel like you're going to make a connection with someone who's just kind of out of the blue. You know, even with that tower, it's like, wow, it just, it just like a lightning bolt, a lightning strike. You never know where it's going to hit. It just comes out of the blue. It just, that's what I feel like this message is. Um, as you're rebuilding your life and, you know, putting the pieces back together again in your life here, in whichever way, you know, it could just be this breakup, right? So for some of you, this was like a 20 year marriage, okay? For others of you, this was like dating someone for three months, right? Had some type of emotional attachment. Um, and anywhere in between there, it's not specific to one date or anything. But whatever the case may be, even when I look at that chariot, I feel like this is getting back up on the horse again for you. Whatever that means for you. Seeking balance and, and, you know, moving in that direction as far as in your life. And I, I can, to be honest, like I don't feel, yeah, your goal is to be grounded, to get stability, security, have growth and endurance. I don't feel like you are out there seeking to replace someone i don't feel like you are out there maybe you are it depends but you're definitely opening yourself up you're becoming available like if somebody comes in great but i don't feel like you're you know really putting yourself out there okay and you do have teddy bear oh how sweet interested in you blooming romance flirting wanting to date so listen if it gives you any consolation there's definitely going to be a meeting of someone coming up very soon even if you don't want to be in a relationship or even if you do whatever it's still going to come okay that's what i feel like that's the message it's going to happen anyway whether you like it or not because we can't control who enters into our lives but we can control who stays <laughs> and who goes Right? So that's the part where I can't predict what you're going to do about a situation. But I'm going to tell you that whomever you meet here, whoever this person is, I feel like your mind's going to be blown a little bit <laughs> as far as the connection being made because it comes out of the blue. And if anything, Virgo, maybe it'll just have a feel-good effect for you. Who knows, right? Oh my gosh, right? New love. A new love, a recommitment to love developing. Beautiful. All right, Virgo. So you got a soulmate here. There's definitely going to be a beautiful soulmate connection. That's my two of cups. That's the soulmate connection. Anything else Virgo needs to know? Retreat. Time alone or in nature will help you recharge. Okay. Chemistry. There will be an attraction here with someone. You will feel. And I feel like it's going to feel really good. Go slow. Take time to get to know each other. No rush, Virgo. I love that message. Let me just get a couple of cosmic insights. Oh, here you go. Give it time. Everything in divine timing. Let things flow. Communicate. 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 Communicate by listening. Very important. I feel like a lot of times people just want to be heard more than they want to listen. Practice listening. Practice not responding all the time, but practice listening. Because listening is a part of communication. Anything else for Virgo? Okay, you have earth sign, right? Earth sign significant. It, I feel like you're connecting with an earth sign. Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn. I do. I don't. I know this is not you because we're already talking about you. I feel like your connection gets made with an earth sign. Now, could that be someone that you were already connecting with before? It could be. But um, I feel like the chance of that is kind of small because something's ended there. 
Yeah, there you have vacation. Some of you are traveling or someone connected to you is traveling and there's going to be, like I said, some kind of international thing I'm hearing. You also have air sign, okay? So they're possible Gemini, Libra, or Aquarius. Anything else for Virgo? Manifest. Tell the universe exactly what you want. And distance. I'm telling you guys, there's some kind of distant connection that gets made from point A to point B. V. Point A to point B. Definitely some type of, um, I don't know if it's long distance. I feel it could be when we say international. But you and this person just might actually meet somewhere, but be from the same place, you know? Because you could be meet, you could meet traveling, like... Let's say you go to vacation somewhere outside of your country and you meet someone while you're on vacation who's actually from the same town as you. I mean, how wild is that? I feel like that's crazy. Let's see if we can get Chinese signs here. What Chinese signs Virgo need to be aware of? Okay, we have Year of the Dragon. Year of the Dog. Oh. Year of the tiger, year of the horse, year of the monkey, we got a pig, we have goat, and the ox. Okay, that could be you or your person or both of you. And I just want to take a quick look at your, your finances, your money. What the heck? This just flew right out. Oh, power position. You are being promoted or called to lead. Time to step into your sovereignty and guide others with compassion. Wow. Okay, that just flipped right out. So that's a strong message. As far as your career, um, some of you are getting a promotion. Or someone here is getting a promotion. Is there anything else you want to tell Virgo? Okay, you also have strategy. You need a step-by-step -step plan of attack to reach the next level. Get the advice of someone who is already where you want to go. Okay, so yeah, you get offered some kind of power position or a promotion in your work. I feel like to make the best and the most of that position, seek some type of mentorship or advice and how to how to have the best or be the best in that position. So congratulations. <laughs> I'm sure that's great news. You're stepping up. You're stepping up here, Virgo. All right, let's take a look here. Let's move all this out of the way. Okay, so you have Scorpio, Pisces, Sagittarius, and Aquarius. You have September 3rd. Someone is 33. Oh my gosh, I feel like I have to sneeze. Move these so you can see it. Okay. Oh, we got two Ks, KK. Two Ks. We have L. Lauren, I'm hearing. All right. Someone's 55, September 29th, or August 29th, excuse me, 32, 81, uh, so, uh, September 18th, 74, uh, July, significant month, could also be a cancer, uh, LAX, hello, 58, 79, 63, 72, 45, September, significant month, or Virgo, or Libra, September 8th, 1981, 74, okay, I should have moved these, and now I can't remember what I called, um, I'm hearing Giovanni, or Giovanna, I'm hearing Kill Switch, <laughs> okay, 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 okay. Sloan. They're giving me the name Sloan. Low key. Or Loka. Olga. Okay. South Carolina. British. Britain. Britain. September 9th. Cola. Koala. Oh, koala bears? You did have teddy bear, remember? Our connection to a koala bear. September 3rd. 
the 19th. I might be repeating myself, you guys. Okay. Chicky. Chicky, Chicky. Christina or Chris? Christian? Okay. HOA. I hate that damn HOA. <laughs> Somebody's name, and then it says AKA. I'm seeing like a name and then AKA. Okay, someone goes by like a couple different names. Ho. Somebody's from Germany. Bowser. These names are something. These are interesting names. Evie or Evan. Evie. Evelyn. All right, let's get your charms. What charms? Okay, Virgo. All right, you got a spider web. You have a skull and crossbones. So I'm feeling some strong Halloween vibes here with those. <laughs> strong Halloween vibes. Somebody might be a mermaid for Halloween or dressing up or you see a, you see a mermaid. A Halloween mermaid. Okay, gold star. Significant. Gold, oops, gold star family, perhaps? Gold star. Somebody gets like, I don't know, I'm just seeing like maybe gold star stickers or something with gold, gold star. You see it? Okay. Oh, okay. And then even with the candy cane, this definitely some Halloween Christmas vibes. It's going to be very significant holidays, more so, more so than they generally are, okay? More so than they generally are. Star on top of a tree, candy canes on a tree, okay. Might be just someone, two favorite holidays someone could have, um, Halloween and or Christmas, our favorite holidays. Okay, you also have a turtle. Some kind of connection to a turtle. Maybe you have a turtle. Or there's a child gonna dress up as like a ninja turtle for Halloween or a grandchild. Okay, definitely a connection to turtles. Yeah, I'm getting some strong, some very strong Halloween vibes here, what, which is pretty much next week, okay? Be careful of, um, <laughs> they're just saying, make sure you have like an antivirus thing on your phone or on your computer. Uh, some kind of like virus go, goes through the web or maybe like one of those spam attacks or something like that. I just got the um, aura to um, protect all of my information. And man, that thing swept through so much. So I don't know if you guys use that, but um, I'm clearing all my information and everything I can find off the internet. And it's really doing a great job. Um, all right, last but not least, you also have a, but, um, a dragonfly. I feel like we always have a connection to dragonfly, but you know something? Some of you are seeing dragonflies where it is, I want to say not the season for dragonflies. All right. So, sorry, that's, that's a significant sign. So if, if, if you, where you are, it's not the season, <laughs> season's over. You know what I mean? Like dragonflies generally come out around a certain time. So if you're seeing them and it's like, wait a minute, like the bees are gone, and all the other specific species to where I live um, are just not, you know, they're wherever. Not where they're, they, they, some species, I guess I'm trying to say, come out like, you know, honeybees in the summertime, things like that. I don't know. I'm just getting this sense, like you, you, you see a dragonfly and it's like, wait, shouldn't they be, I don't know, what are they, hibernate? I don't know. Shouldn't they like, or they die off or something? You see them. It's a significant sign. Why? Because dragonflies mean expansion, transformation, and change. 
All right, and I do feel like this reading does speak about that, going through this transformation and change. Um, it's just a season change. It's not a, it's not like, for some of you, it is a massive, uh, a massive shift. But for others of you, it's just this kind of like a season, like a, like a, just a, the next phase is what I feel. It's a next phase energy. All right, Virgo. So um, I just want to give a quick shout out to all of you who have been purchasing items off my wish list and sending them, sending them to me. I, it's such a treat when I open um, the mailbox and then or go to the post office and they're there. And I'm just like, oh my God, I love you guys so much. It is so sweet. I'm so grateful. Thank you so much for supporting the channel. I just wanted to say that and to the mods for being here every single day. You guys are awesome and everyone in the chat. So yeah, I'm going to leave this here with you guys and I will see I you all back here to tomorrow. Go. All right, take care. Lord knows that I've tried to. You said I was the only one. No one likes being like to. You made this mess and left me with the pieces. Now I want to burn all the bridges between us mm.